Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the business mega pack inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require other files, so make sure that you download and install Enable All Interiors and I will leave this inside my description below. Now next, make sure that you go inside my description and now download Lemon UI. So let's get started. Now before we do get started, I forgot to mention that this mod only requires the updated game version. So if you do have a crack game version or a free game version, this mod will not work. So you will need to buy the game, okay, to avoid the stress. So let's get straight into it. All you got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location and now before we do install our mods the most important thing that you must do is go to your scriptv.net.ini file double click and now make sure that you do change your reload key to insert and then save your files next go to your scripts folder if you do have scripts folder then that's good but if you don't Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and now let's get started. Now the first thing that you must install is install Lemon UI. So open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go inside your SHVDN2 folder and now just select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now this is optional, but open up your SHVD in three folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your Lemon UI extract folder. Next open up your EAI extract folder, then open up this folder and this folder and now all you got to do is select all the files except for the text files and drag it inside your scripts folder and exit out of your EAI extract folder now lastly open up your mega pack extract folder then go into that folder then go into your scripts folder now all you got to do is select all the files and folders every one of them now what you can do okay is that you can hold control on your keyboard and now make sure that you just uncheck this okay and uncheck um hang on guys go up a bit and now uncheck this one over here the updated log dot text and pdf manual then drag all of it inside your scripts folder and then there you go now select replace 
done now all you got to do is go and exit out of your extract folder go to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are back in the game so as you can see on my left hand side it is loading all of the mods and I'll be going in the game very soon and now if your game does freeze when you go into the game then don't worry it's only loading the online features so once you're in the game okay as you can see my game did not crash so before we do anything okay really important go to your phone go to contacts then go right down to the bottom and now you'll see all these stuff okay but um yeah i'm just going to skip them all but before we do anything like always go to enable interiors really important and then uh, after that go to change and interior now you can enable whatever business you want it, it's totally up to you but the business that i'm going to install is the executive interiors okay so if you do executive interiors make sure that you just enable them uh any one of them okay uh the maze bank tower i'm going to enable that uh but yeah i'm just going to skip that okay now whatever business you want to actually enable then just enable it okay and make sure that it is true now once you have finished with your settings go right down to the bottom to misc options and now really important make sure that you change load mp maps to true and enable blips to true really important now this next step is optional but go to random color blips and change that to true go back to your main menu then go to refresh interiors and then there you go and then that's all you got to do now next go to your keyboard and press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds don't worry about that now once your game is back on okay all you've got to do next okay is go to your phone go to contacts then go right down to the bottom to business helper now what you need to do is that you need to buy the business so go to purchase a business and now purchase whatever business you enabled but in my case i enabled the executive business and now i enabled the maze bank tower and then that's all you got to do exit out of your menu and now i will see you guys at the maze bank tower and now we are back and now we are at the maze bank tower now once you come to the maze bank tower or any other business that you enabled you might see a blue or pink or whatever color mark so here's a, oh here it is so here's a blue mark okay so all you got to do is press e okay and then you'll teleport into your building and now there you go so i'm inside the office okay and now we can go in the garage but unfortunately i didn't enable the garage so i can't go in there um yeah so yeah so it actually works okay guys and now you can go to your um to your chair and then now once you're on your chair you can go and press e to open up the menu and now you can just uh you know purchase options or start a mission if you want to and then now press q to exit and then now there you go so yeah this so yeah this mod does work okay 100% works it has been updated so make sure that you guys do just go around and now try the other businesses as well so let's exit the key so you guys can see it does work and now there you go so this mod does work okay guys 100% works so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod and now we are back again so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod 
But, like always, okay, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or, if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. And like always, okay guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.